I have an obnoxious haul today. And what better way to kick off a YouTube channel than with an obnoxious haul? I didn't ask for this. I, I mean, I, I bought everything with my own free will, but I wasn't expecting for this to happen today. By the way, if you're coming from TikTok, feel free to skip around and skip past this because it's essentially sort of the same video that I just posted on there, except more in depth. And I am gonna be like styling pieces and then I also have my online haul, which I'm very excited about. But uh, anyways, for those of you that are not from TikTok or did not see the TikTok, essentially I went to coffee today with a friend. We had like a little meeting. We hung out for a bit and then I was like, I don't really have too much to do today. So I am just gonna like hit a couple thrift stores in this area. I'm not in this neighborhood that often. Let's see what happens. And oh boy, am I glad I did. I was expecting to pop into a few places for it to be really quick. I was taking a little bit of video because I like to do like hauls on TikTok and be like, I went here and I went here and this is what I found. I had to put my phone away. Eventually I was just like, I can't even show the process. Something is happening. The thrift gods have been so good to me lately. And by the thrift gods, I mean the thrift gods, okay? I don't mean the vintage gods. I don't wanna sound like an asshole, but it kind of irks me when somebody's like, look at this thrift haul. And then it's very obviously like a vintage haul where they went to like curated places and like spent top dollar, which is fine. But there's something about a thrift haul where it's like, you don't know what you're gonna find, but you know it's gonna be like under $15. And if you find something really special, it's gonna feel like magical. It's gonna feel like luck. Third coffee of the day, also obnoxious. It's also almond milk. I'm a coconut milk girl, but they rarely have it. What's up with that? Coconut milk is superior, but. The theme of this video is absolutely just being obnoxious. Not only am I about to show you a wild haul of my day of shopping, I'm also like complaining about people like not having coconut milk for my latte. Anyways, first stop is a Goodwill, like a random Goodwill. Goodwills in LA are notoriously pretty picked through. You can still, of course, find stuff. It's just not that easy. So I never go into a Goodwill, sure, I'm gonna find something, or even with hopes up. I don't know. Callan, be Callaning. Anyways, first stop is a Goodwill. I immediately go to the jewelry counter because I'm just obsessed with jewelry. It's like my whole life. And the first thing that I find for, I just took the tags off, but it was like $6.99 and then it was like 25% off is this beauty. Look, I'm really, really into beads right now. Like very, very into beaded tops, beaded jewelry, beaded purses. For summer, I think it's gonna be perfect, but this, with a bikini, it's gonna look silly with the necklace I already have on, but like, just so you can, I am like, yeah. So I'm, I'm, that's it, I'm riding a high now, you know. Also, not as exciting, but very beautiful and in the jewelry counter. This one, this one was $5.99 and also 25% off. Um, I don't really know exactly what it is, uh, but it's beaded on like leather and you can kind of just like use the ball or you can tie it. But I love the idea of wearing this as the longest one and then a bunch of other chains. I love this one too. It's really heavy. It's really, really well made and beautiful. So, okay, so I've hit a Goodwill when I wasn't really expecting to shop. And now it's like, you know, I got that dopamine hit. It's on. So I go to another thrift store that's extremely, extremely close to the Goodwill. If you live in LA and you like to do vintage shopping, you might know this one. It's called It's a Wrap and essentially it's a pre-owned store and they get all of the like excess production wardrobe stuff and it goes there and it has like the production number on it so you can like know where it came from, what movie or TV show. It's a little overpriced when it comes to the designer stuff but if you dig, you can find good deals. I find good deals there probably like 40% of the time, but I ended up getting this skirt, which I love skirts. I especially love like midi skirts that hit like right above the knee or right below the knee. This one is so cute and simple and it has these little like ribbons that are falling from it. It's just adorable. And this was marked $12 and then the entire store was 50% off. So $6 for this. And I'm gonna wear it with like slouchy boots. I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna style it yet, but I like the idea of like slouchy boots or even just like big chonker boots. I have these Heaven Mark Jacobs. I feel like these could be very cool with this. This is kind of a cool vibe actually. Okay, that's a little better. Can you see guava creeping in the corner? This is cute, I think. Still don't know if you can see it, but it's the best you're gonna get because I'm not good at wide videos yet. Okay, so now I'm really, now I'm like really on a roll, right? Now I'm like, okay. 
So I hit another one. By the way, the Goodwill, it's a wrap, and like two or three other thrift stores, these are all within walking distance of each other. Like I haven't moved my car from coffee. I'm just hitting these thrift stores back to back to back to back and they're all hitting so good. So the next one I walk into, which is like a very random kind of small thrift store, you can tell that the woman behind the counter is the owner. Shit, look at these. Just look at how stunning these are. I am just, I am in awe. I'm obsessed with these. I think these were like seven or eight dollars. Like, are you kidding me? There were so many good accessories at this one thrift store. I also got these for $2.99. I probably technically don't need any more gold hoops, but also like I was born and raised in Miami. So it's like, am I ever gonna stop buying gold hoops? And the answer is no. And I don't have a pair that fall like this. And I think they're really pretty. For $2.99, can't beat that. These were $5. Look at these. Like imagine a summer dress, kitten heels, beaded purse, hair up like this and these. This little sterling silver guy, I think, I don't remember, like less than $15 for sure. Um, nothing crazy special, but I just really like the way it falls. It's like a choker and I can layer of other pieces. The cutest little beaded bracelet. Yeah, I'm, I'm all beaded this summer. I'm like, I wasn't kidding. I wasn't bluffing. It's, it's all beads this summer and I'm gonna be wearing this the whole time. It's gonna give me the worst tan lines and I don't care. I'm excited about it. And then I got these, nothing super special. They're not like branded or anything, but very, very, very cute vintage glasses. I think they're like from the eighties. They're a tiny, a tiny bit wonky. So I have to like, these are so cute. I think these were like $5 or something. They were so cheap. Like everything was so well-priced and things that are like perfect for summer and looked good on me. Glasses are very hard for me because I have a pea head and they can very oftentimes look silly and these look perfect. And then the lady was like, as she was checking me out, she was like, oh my God, these are so cute. You know what else I have for $5 is this 80s beaded sunglasses case. You should get it to go with the sunglasses. And you know, I did. She could smell an upsell from a mile away. I had all these bags in my hands already. Does anybody else drink like an asshole when they have lipstick on? I'm like, I'm just like letting it fall into my mouth. Okay, last thing I got at that thrift store, and I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna have to workshop some outfits together tonight because I don't know 100% about this one. I was really riding a high at this point. Like I was just so excited and just having a ball. And I've seen a lot of people recently styling um, fur coats and they look so cool. And I never super got into like the, like almost famous style where it's like not fur and then fur on the sleeves. I think they look cool on some people. It's just not necessarily my style, but these like full fur jackets, they just look so cool on people. And I'm like, I want a fur jacket. And then I find this one for $35. So I'm like, yes, I'm buying this. And it does fit me really, really well, which again is tough for me off the rack because I just have kind of narrow shoulders. But I think that when I got home and the excitement wore off a little, I'm just, I'm on, let me show it to you. I'm on the fence. The problem is it's a fur coat. So it's already like, it's saying something, but then it also has like sort of puff sleeves that I kind of like didn't see with my love goggles on at the thrift store. A fur jacket is already saying a lot and a puff sleeve is already saying a lot together. I'm just not sure I can rock it. Somebody can, I'm just not sure it's me. I'm gonna do a little styling actually as well because it's like, you see what I mean? It's cool, it fits, but like, it's a lot. Like, it's kind of a lot. So I'm just not like, I just don't know if I have the confidence for it, I guess. But do I? Right, like it's kind of a lot. I don't know, I feel like I need, I feel like actually like this with a top like this, but like jeans, and like some chill loafers could be a cool look, like very, or even sneakers. I'm gonna try that, let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm thinking something like this to really kind of just offset the like old money vibes, just very casual. I have my tigers on, and then I did like a really kind of like young, sort of like fun bag versus like a classic, like this can't do with like a Chanel flap, you know? So something just like fun like that and sneakers, I don't know, to run errands. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm growing accustomed to it as I'm wearing it around the house. <laughs> I can't stop now, I'm like, I've talked about this before. I'm like a gambler, it's like an addiction, I can't stop. 
So I go back to my neighborhood and I'm like, I'm gonna hit a second street. For those of you that don't know, second street is kind of like, it's like a thrift store, but slightly more curated. They have vintage, but they also have like mall brands and high end and they know what they have a little more. It's not like a full on thrift store, um, but you can still find really good deals. I'm a big fan if you live in LA, I'm sure there are other places as well. I think they're technically from Japan actually. Um, I'm a big fan of second street. If you dig, you can find really, really good deals. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I wanna see how far I can push this luck. Let's see what happens. So I walk in, I'm looking around. I spot this leather jacket. I think it's beautiful, but also I like definitely, definitely don't need another leather jacket. That's actually not true. You can probably never have enough. And I definitely don't have anything like this. This is stunning. It's like vintage express. It's really worn in. The leather is so soft. This style of it being kind of like distressed, I feel like is in right now and it's really beautiful. But like, look at the sleeves and the back and the front, but, but wait, wait, that's not the best part. $5, just an even $5 on like a perfectly worn in, very cool, like corseted leather jacket. This feels like a mistake. Like, I don't think this tag is supposed to be, it doesn't even say leather jacket, it just says clothes, $5. I don't know why, I'm not really gonna question it. We're going for the same outfit with this because this, this is just sick. Also at Second Street, I got these. These are a good deal, but I think after I got the $5 jacket, nothing else felt like that good of a deal because it was like, how, how can you beat that? So I think these were about $15. It's a good price, but I was riding the high of the leather jacket, right? But look at these. And the last thing I got is this very, very cute belt. Shells for summer, shocking, but you know what? I love this wrapped around like a maxi skirt. Okay, so as I'm leaving the second street, I walk past a free people. Free people is great. Did you, guys, did you guys know this? Because I didn't know this. And I was talking to a friend of mine who's very much like a free people. I feel like in high school, you were either like a free people girl or you weren't. I was not, she was. So when I told her this, she was like, yeah, duh, free people's amazing. And I was like, I didn't know this. I had no idea. They had so many cute, like, bow items little like bows for your hair and really cute like eyelet tops and i always knew that they were boho that's like what free people is but i think it's because i wasn't a free people girl in high school i just kind of like trained myself to walk past it every time i see one like at a mall or something and so i just didn't go in and i now i'm like wait a second free people is sick so if you weren't a free people girl and you don't know no now i only ended up getting two things at this point i'm you know it's it's a bit much but they had a great selection of tube tops and these specifically with the ruching on the sides they had them in a bunch of different colors so cute look at this for summer i feel like i'm gonna do a lot of like baggy shorts almost like bermuda style i said almost these i recently got and they're just so easy and cool for summer and i feel like with little tube tops like the free people one and then wait so cute with little sneakers this is absolutely this is the vibe for summer this is what I'm, this is my pinterest board and then their jewelry section was amazing look at this cross shell necklace with the tube top it's gonna be perfect i can't believe it i wish this was sponsored it's not but it, i would take it because i love free people my first youtube video i'm like where's where's my sponsorship finally 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 last thing so that's that's the whole haul of the day of my random shopping day that i wasn't expecting to have i'm like putting off work at this point because the luck is too good um but i get home and of course because i'm an addict i have packages and the packages are good i've been wanting specifically a leather i'm like i don't need any more leather jackets i've specifically been wanting a leather like racing jacket that has red in it like i just love a pop of red i find this one on ebay and it's 30 dollars. and i'll tell you why it's 30 dollars because this is on depop would be like 100. it's 30 dollars because it's kids and that's the one nice thing about being five feet is i get to shop especially for like vintage outerwear in the kids section and the kids section of ebay and depop $30 for this and it just fits so good. It's, this is just like, this is so good for just like a chill, you know, going to like a flea market or something, lunch on a Sunday. I need to do a closet clean out like immediately just to make myself not feel so terrible about owning this much shit. I'm obsessed with a brand whose name I am going to butcher right now. Jamin Pooch, I don't know, J-A-M-I-N-P-U-E-C-H. I think it's a vintage brand. I'm not sure if they actually like exist anymore, but if you search 
Xiaomin Pooch vintage bags. The bags that come up are so shockingly beautiful and I haven't really found one that's over like $85. They're really, really, really well priced and they're real leather and they're beautiful. And I found this one that I think is just stunning. It's the perfect size, just enough to kind of fit everything. The stitching on it, the detail, I love this. It's just kind of a perfect, very, very me bag. And then the last thing, this is another brand. I recently did a video on TikTok where I was like, these are like random ass brands that I'm obsessed with right now. And another one is I was on Tumblr. I came across these like clogs that were hand painted with like Michelangelo-esque like women on them. So I couldn't find those exact ones, but I found a bunch of others. I think they're also a vintage brand that I don't know exists anymore, but they just make like loafers and clogs and they put like iconic paintings on them. And I found this guy on Poshmark who was selling a bunch of them in my size. I only got one pair, but I got these. Look at these with the kiss on them. These are so cool, like, and they fit. They're just like with socks like this. I'm gonna wear the shit out of these. I love these. And I think they were $20, something like that. And then the same guy was selling a bunch of other shoes and he was doing like bundle deals. So for like another, I think literally $7, these came in the same um, package, like from the same guy for $7. And I just, I couldn't pass them up. I just couldn't pass them up. Uh, very, very cute for summer. I'm super excited about these. That's everything. If you can believe it, it's finally over. Um, I am I am still in shock, honestly, at how incredible this shopping day was. I am just very, very happy. And I thought this would be a perfect first YouTube video because there's just so much. There's something for everyone. Um, anyways, I'm very excited. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing like vlogs and I'm going to be uploading podcast videos here as well because I record video for the podcast and um, like styling videos and days in the life and a bunch of other stuff. Um, just going to dabble. I don't know how often I'm going to be on here. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this wild haul um, styling whatever video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.